Time to rank the first 151 Pokemon in a tier list. Because apparently I didn't learn my lesson from the Animal Crossing one. Uh, where in that one I was losing my fucking mind by the end. But this won't be as bad. It's only about half the Pokemon, right? Let's, uh, let's get down to it. First off, we got Bulbasaur. Uh, classic Bulbasaur. I mean, that's gonna be, uh, a, a good old A tier. He's a good old boy. Ivysaur is like a slightly worse Bulbasaur. It kind of, kind of complicates things. I'm gonna say, uh, uh, let's do, uh, I don't know, C tier. No one's excited about Ivysaur. But then you get back to Venusaur and I'm all, I'm all excited again. Everybody loves that big piece of shit. Uh, he's just this big old boy. Uh, he's a badass. Back to A tier. Next up we have Charmander. Charmander is a cute little guy. Very great design, honestly. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna say A tier. A tier, love, love that little fuck. Charmeleon's a real dickhead. I, I'm not as in love with this design as, say, Charmander. Uh, I kinda like how much of a dickhead he is. I'm gonna say B tier for Charmeleon. Charizard. Best Pokemon of all time, baby. Now people go, Charizard's overrated! And I say, I don't give a flying dog shit. Uh, Charizard is the best S tier. The grandest S tier. Squirtle is also an S tier. Probably my favorite of the three original starter designs. Just a classic, look at this cool little guy. Everybody likes this guy. Not everybody likes Wartortle though. What are those ears, dog? Uh, slightly more interesting than like a Ivysaur, so I'll say B tier. Blastoise is a motherfucker. The big old cannons are dope. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say S tier? No, I'm gonna say A tier. Just cause he's a little bit less than Charizard. I'm sure nobody will uh, object to me saying that and everybody will be very happy. Caterpie, cute little guy. Uh, you know, C tier. Metapod is funnier, so B tier. Butterfree's cute. Uh, I'll also say a B tier for Butterfree, even though this clearly should have been Venonat's evolution, not Caterpie and Metapod. Uh, there's gotta be some kind of story there. Weedle is fun, but probably just like a C tier. I do like his big old nose. Kakuna's a scary fucker. I'm gonna say, uh, a C tier as well. I don't know, I don't think there are gonna be any Pokemon in the first game that I really dislike the designs. I think it gets pretty controversial later on. Beedrill's great. I mean, what a terrifying creature. I'm terrified of bees in reality. How tall is Beedrill? Three feet tall! Fuck that! Oh my god. So a three foot tall bee. The stinger is like the size of like a, a knife and it has giant uh, uh, horn things to kill you with. Uh, a tier. I love the design, but what a terrifying monstrosity. Pidgey's just a bird. C tier. Pidgeotto, I think there's a little bit of a bias because, you know, they're, they're very prevalent in the anime. So like a B tier, I like, I like Pidgeotto. And then Pidgeot isn't that much cooler than Pidgeotto, if I'm being totally honest. So probably also just a B tier. Okay, Rattata's like a D tier, I guess. I don't, who gives a shit about Rattata? Raticate is, funnily enough, looks more like a just generic animal, but something about its shit-eating teeth grin. Not even grin, just shit-eating mouth uh, and its teeth is funny to me. So I'm gonna say B tier. Spiro looks like a little shit. Let's make it a C tier. Uh, Fiero's beak is cool. I do like how sort of long and piercing it is. Mm, B tier, I'll say B tier. I find with a lot of, um, you know, first step evolutions, it's usually either the second step evolutions are boring as hell or the first ones. And Atkins is kind of one of those boring ones, right? It's just like a C tier, he's just a snake. But then Arbok is great. It's got, you know, I kind of like that the eyes change, you know, uh, in the anime, has a Jabak sort of voice. B tier for old Arbok. Pikachu. This Pokemon sucks. No, I'm kidding. It's an S tier. I mean, it's fucking classic. It's the mascot, goddammit. It's cute as shit. And then Raichu just kind of ruins it. Just kind of makes makes him a big old dumpus. He's still not bad, like a B tier, but it's a it's a big fall from grace from uh, Pikachu. Sandshrew is cute. I think I like actually Sandshrew better than Sandslash. I'm gonna say Sandshrew is a B tier. And Sandslash is a little busy. Like, maybe Sandslash might be a C tier. It, it kinda uh, loses a bit of the original design for me. Okay, uh, who gives a shit about Nidoran? Nidoran, both Nidorans are like a D tier. 
We'll get to that though. Nido Arena has a little more personality, which I like, so I'm gonna say B tier. Nido Queen is awesome. Don't fuck with Nido Queen. A tier. Nidoran, like I said, little D tier rat fuck, whatever the fuck it is. Nido Reno, this guy looks like an asshole, and I like that, so I'm gonna say B tier. Nido King, I just love that aggressive design. Nido King, I think, is an S tier for me. I just love how he looks. This guy, if you saw him, he would crush your car in half. Uh, Clefairy is very cute. I'll say B tier, and I think this is one of those for me where it's a little ruined with Clefable. Where I think Clefable for me is maybe like a C tier. She's okay, but yeah. Vulpix is very cute. That's gonna be an A tier. Uh, adorable hair, adorable tail. Tails, I guess. And then Nine Tails is also great. Uh, that This is one where like they're very different designs, but I think they're very cool. Like Nine Tails is like very elegant. Uh, so A tier. Jigglypuff is absolutely S tier. Just look at those those eyes are really cute and at the same time you know this little balloon is gonna fuck you up if you fall asleep to it. But this is one of those where the Wigglytuff is so much worse. I mean it's not bad but it's gonna be like a B tier. There's nothing exciting about Zubat. I do like that it doesn't have eyes. I think that's actually a pretty fun detail so I will say C tier otherwise it would have been a D tier. Meanwhile Golbat's a fucker and if you're a fucker in my book uh, that's gonna bring you up to, uh, let's say B tier. I, li I like, I like Golbat. Oddish is very cute. B tier. You either gotta be cute, or you gotta be a shithead. Loom is nasty, but I like the creativity of the design. I love that it has a drool, it's just kinda gross. Gloom would absolutely smell like shit, so... I'm gonna say B tier just for the creativity. And then Vileplume is fun too. Um... Maybe like an A tier? Um... I like that even though it's like the final evolution, it's still kinda cute. But there's also something kind of scary about it. It's also three feet tall, so yeah, that's fucking terrifying. Paris is good. Um, you know, it's the mushroom is really making it interesting. Otherwise, they'd just be like almost like a little crab or bug. So like a like a C tier. Parasect. I love that the eyes are blank, which is very disturbing because the mushroom took over its fucking corpse or whatever. Uh, so B tier. Better than that, just like a little little butterfree head. Uh, I love this little guy. It's like a little grape. Uh, B tier. Then a moth is fine to me. I don't actually get a whole lot out of this design. It just kind of looks like a big moth. But Venonat is like a little more interesting. Venonat and Butterfree must be connected somehow. And I'm wondering, where did Venomoth come from? I don't know. It's pretty nondescript to me, like a C tier. Uh, Diglett's great. A tier. Just a little nub. Just a cute little nub with a big old nose. And the trio is... <laughs> Just three of them, so you lose points for creativity, uh, but I'll say B tier. Meowth is an S tier, classic, I love, I mean, you know, yeah, I'm a little biased because I love the character in the anime, but even just its design, you know, the coin, the, the cute little sort of like face and eyes, it's just a great design overall. And I find it a lot more interesting than the next one, which is Persian. Persian, to me, has always been very blah, like it's, just, it's a cat, C. C for cat. C for... Can't get too impressed by that cat. Psyduck is hilarious. Uh, the blank stare is great in my book. That's gonna be an A tier. Uh, and Golduck for me is a, a step down. Go Psyduck is so funny. Golduck is just trying to be cool. Who are you trying to impress, Golduck? Get the hell out of here. Uh, B tier. Mankey's okay. I like the evolution a lot more. So Mankey's like a C tier because it's just like a little monkey. But when Primeape comes wrong, comes along and it has those straight up like boxing glove hands and the, the little anger mark and this guy's a shithead. Again, shitheads in my book. I love the shithead Pokemon. Uh, Primeape's gonna be like a... like a B tier. Growlithe is very cute. Uh, B tier. But Arcanine I really like. I think Arcanine might be an S tier for me. I would love to ride on top of an Arcanine. It just looks so fuzzy. I want to rub my face in its mane. Poliwag's cute, but the the fact that that little... When I was a kid, I thought the pink part was a nose. And the fact that it's like a little mouth is a little creepy to me. But it's still, it's still a very good design. I'm going to say B tier. Poliwhirl, I actually like a little... No, nah, maybe about the same. They're both good for different reasons. So I'll say B for Poliwhirl, but I really like Poliwrath. Just because it's the angry version. And it, it's just the fact that it's water fighting and it just, you know, will beat the shit out of you. Uh, and it's just this weird little circle man. <laughs> yeah, Polyrath is great. I'm going to say A tier. 
Abra's cute, but I like the evolutions better. I'm gonna say B tier for Abra. Kadabra, just the fact that it has like the spoon prop, I think makes it a lot more interesting and the mustache is really fun. I'm gonna say A tier for Kadabra. Alakazam, I don't know if it gets to S tier for me. I think it's still like an A tier. And actually, for some reason, I have a more of a connection to Kadabra because in the anime, Kadabra was like this big threatening presence and they never really showed Alakazam. Actually, I think I like Alakazam less than Kadabra. Uh, I'm gonna say B tier in terms of design. By the way, if, I, if it wasn't clear, this is all based on design, not like how I, I use them in the in the games or anything. The chop's fun, just a little punch boy. The, the weird like fins on its head have always been interesting to me. I'm gonna say C tier from a chop. Machoke, uh, I like that it has like a belt. I think that's a nice touch. I'll say same B tier for Machoke. Machamp, I've always liked the like the whole forearms thing. That's been that's like kind of creepy, you know. It's kind of unsettling because if if it were just uh, like he had two arms and it was just like a more muscular Machoke, that's boring. But giving him two more arms, that makes it unsettling. Machamp's like an A tier. Bellsprout's hilarious. I love the little mouth. I'm gonna say yeah, eh, B tier for the little guy. Weeping Bill, kind of gross looking, which is kind of funny. Has like the same mouth shape as like Eliza Thornberry. B tier, B tier, I guess. And Victory Bell's cool too. I think I just find it more funny because of the anime. So do I actually like the design? Yeah. I think all three are like a B tier for me. They're all good for different reasons. Like Victory Bell's scary. Uh, Weeping Bell is dumb looking and Bellsprout is just kind of cute. Tentacle sort of add though. Tentacle is like a C tier. Uh, I like the sort of ruby gems, but otherwise it's very boring to me. Tentacruel has, I love the sort of crooked nose, and I think that really adds a lot of character to it. So I'm gonna make that one a B tier. Geodude's funny because it's a floating rock with arms. Like, they just really thought, you know, let's just go for that, huh? Just the audacity of it to me is funny. Uh, we'll say B tier. Graveler is probably also a B tier. I do like how aggressive it is, but I don't like Golem. Golem to me is just like, it doesn't fit the other ones. It's kind of ugly. Graveler is funny looking. Golem is just kind of dumpy. Alolan Golem is better, but we're not getting into it. We're just going out the original ones. So I'm gonna say like a C tier for Golem. Ponyta is cute as hell, uh, A tier. I think it actually loses something with Rapidash. Rapidash is not nearly as good. I think the fact that the eyes change, uh, it just becomes like a bigger unicorn. Eh. Eh. Rapidash is like a C tier, I think. Slowpoke is classic. Um, I'll say B for Slowpoke. And then just adding on the ridiculous tail for Slowbro. Does it make it that much better though? Does it go to A tier? Does Slowbro deserve an A? No, try harder, Slowbro. You're gonna stick with a B. A Magnemite is fun. The creepy eye is a, a nice touch. Um, I've always kind of liked that. So I'm gonna say B tier for Magne Magnemite. Magneton is not particularly uh, inspired. So I'm gonna bring it down to a C tier, even though it's, I like the idea of three Magnemite together, but it, it just does feel kind of like a phone to that one in. Farfetch is great. Um, I love the lore behind Farfetch that like it was like cooked to extinction almost. and. The fact that it carries the leak as a sort of representation of that. Yeah, I'm gonna say A tier for Farfetch. I love that. Love that guy. Doduo has always confused me. It's just this weird <laughs> two-headed bird. Uh, doesn't seem to know that it's alive. Uh, C tier. Dodrio makes it more of a shithead and that's funny to me. And I also like that Dodrio has the um, different personalities. That's a nice touch, I think. So Dodrio is like a B tier. Seal is like a nothing design. As I'm getting further in this, I'm gonna be meaner. This is like a D tier. Who gives a shit about Seal? Also the name, come on. Dugong is way better. It's still, I like that Dugong is still kind of goofy looking with its teeth, but it also has kind of an elegance to it. So I'm gonna say B tier for Dugong. Grimer is nasty. It's funny, I'm gonna say B tier for Grimer, but even though it's just a bigger version, Mock with this big old mouth, and just it's the eyes that look like it's an agony. That's an A tier. That's just a great, funny design. Shelter's whatever. If it weren't for the goofy tongue, it'd be like a D, but the tongue makes it a C tier. Cloister is awesome. Like, I love this idea of like the little the little guy inside this giant dangerous looking shell with a shit-eating grin. 
Cloyster is like an A tier. Now I get to these ghosties, and man, all three are great designs. Ghastly, it's very simple, classic. I'm gonna say A tier. Haunter is like S tier. I love that the hands are detached, and again, the, just the you can see the Pokemon's personality and its grin. And Gengar is one of my favorites of all time. Uh, S tier. Just imagine this little guy running around your yard. That's terrifying. This little gr purple gremlin that can like eat your dreams or whatever. Onyx is like the 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 slow and steady, like old reliable Pokemon. I'm not. I don't love Onyx, but I respect Onyx. I'm gonna say B tier. Drowsy is kind of gross. That nose is really goofy. I'm gonna say C tier for Drowsy, and I actually like the upgrade to Hypno with the whole the pendulum thing and the uh it's he's like here's like weird frill he's like this creepy aristocrat I like that idea more than the original drowsy so I'll say A tier for Hypno Krabby's just a crab and and yet I'm gonna eat my words on the next one because Krabby's like what C tier but Kingler is a big crab so it's cool <laughs> I just love that the its pincers are so big and the sort of crown and its jagged teeth are, I think, big improvements on the original. So I'm going to say A tier for Kingler. Voltorb's hilarious. Just this pissed off little Pokeball. Maybe the angriest looking Pokemon, except maybe like Primeape or something. I've actually always loved Voltorb as a design. And maybe it's because I loved that it was easy to draw as a kid. But just it's so mad. Who hurt you, Voltorb? A tier. And then Electrode is just the opposite. He's just this smug fuck. This smug upside down Pokeball. I'll say B tier for Electrode, but I still like him a lot. Execute has a lot of details that have really made me appreciate it more over the years. The fact that one of them is cracked is really creepy and I love that. And that they're all like, it's like a, just like a fucking gang of eggs. And they're not really eggs I know, but just a gang of eggs is so funny to me. B tier for Execute. Probably the same for Executor. Uh, actually, maybe I'm going to say execute, Execute's like an A. I like Execute more than Executor. Alolan Executor is hilarious. Regular Executor is okay to me. Cubone. I love the backstory that it has its mom's skull. And the fact that you can't see its face is a, actually a nice. It's a clever idea. So I'm going to say A tier for Cubone. Marowak is just a worse version. The fact that it has just the skull. It's like not as cute, not as interesting. B tier for Marowak. Hitmonlee's great. I love that it doesn't have a mouth. It's just made for kicking. It can't even eat, maybe. It lives by kicking. A tier. Hitmonchan isn't nearly as interesting to me. I liked Hitmonchan better as a kid because he had like fire punch and ice punch or whatever. As a design, Hitmonlee's way funnier. I don't mind the fact that it looks like Hitmonchan's wearing clothes and I like the boxing gloves, but it's not that interesting. I'm gonna say B tier. Look, Dung's a nasty fucker. And I kind of love that. The tongue being so long is so gross. I'm gonna say B tier. Coughing, I'm very fond of this purple piece of shit. The sort of skull and crossbones is great. And I I got I actually like coughing better than wheezing. Coughing is like an A tier. Wheezing gets a little busy for me. I still like wheezing a lot, but it's like a B tier. Rhyhorn is very blah to me. I don't care about it. It's just like a big rock with the that's it with legs it's a, it's like a c tier raidon is a big improvement almost looks like a kaiju of some kind i love the drill horn that's a big plus and just he just looks powerful i like the powerful ones so raidon is an a tier chance is very cute i want to push one over and just like roll it down a hill the whole lore with its egg is fun it's cute i really like chance i'm gonna say b tier tangela is a great creepy design like you don't know what's underneath the vines yeah and the little shoes are fun i'll say b tier Kangaskhan is also a B tier. Yeah, I like the concept though of how it protects the baby and you can see the baby. But as a design, just kind of feels like a lesser ride on to me. Horsey, okay, Horsey is a seahorse. Uh, I don't, who cares? <laughs> it's cute enough, but I'm gonna say C tier. Seedra is definitely better because it's a shithead. B tier. Goldine, fuck off, Goldine. No one gives a shit. D tier. Seeking, I don't really care about Seeking either. You didn't grow up to be much. You disappointment. C tier. Star you fucking rules. I don't know why I love Star you so much, but Star you's like an S tier. I think definitely part of it is in the anime. He goes, hey -ya! But like, it's just a star with a ruby. But it's great. I just love that that's all it is. As a kid, I used to do those like perler beads, or I made a Star you with that. I'm very fond of this. This It's a very, I don't know, simple but striking design to me. Star me is not as good. It, it kind of makes it a little, I don't need two stars. 
One star is good enough. You're good enough, star you. B tier, I didn't forget. Uh, Mr. Mime is funny. Do I love the design? Kind of. I think the fact that it's so bulbous and it's fingers and stupid head and all over, that really adds a lot to it. So I'll say B tier. Scyther rules. Scyther actually I think might be an S tier. Just, I don't give a shit about bug Pokemon usually, but this design is so great. Just the, the scythe arms. It's almost like a like a samurai or something. I, I, that's just cool. Jinx is uh, problematic, I would say. And I realize they've made steps to fix that. Uh, but I'm still going to say uh, D tier. Electabuzz is great. And again, it's one of those ones that is kind of terrifying. I love the teeth. I love that it's just a big old, kind of looks like a big old Dr. Seuss character. If Dr. Seuss characters could electrocute you to death. I'll say A tier. A tier, sure. Bagmar's got a big old butt on his head. That brings it down a little bit. Uh, but he's not bad. Even though he's got, even though he's a big old butthead, he's a B tier. Pincer will kill you. Pincer will just chop your head off. The fact that it has the terrifying horns and creepy teeth in the front, there's so many ways this thing can kill you. A tier. Taurus is a bull, and that's it. Oh, it's got three tails. Cool. It's got little things on its head. This is just like a, it's a fucking bull. That's bull. D tier. Magic Arb's hilarious. Just conceptually, it's funny. Again, it's got that dead eye stare I like. That's gonna be a B tier. And then it turns into one of my favorites, Gyarados. I love Gyarados. Just the teeth, the you know, the color, the horns, the overall just design. Just a big old water dragon snake thing. Uh, that rules. S tier. I didn't forget. Lapras is cute. It'll be a B tier for me because it's a little plain, but just the fact that it's a very peaceful looking Pokemon is. It's a nice change of pace. Ditto is funny. Ditto's ability is more interesting than its design. The design is just like, I mean, it's funny, so it's like a B tier. And the fact that every Pokemon it transforms to has those eyes in the anime and in the merchandise, that's great. Eevee's very cute. Maybe a little overrated, I think. Like, do you really need Eevee to be like a playable partner? Pikachu's so much better. But it's still very cute. So I'm gonna say A tier for Eevee. Uh, Vaporeon was always my favorite. I thought Vaporeon was very cute. I love the little mermaid tail, fin ears. Uh, oh, just a cute little face. Look at the little cute little, little little guy. A tier, I didn't forget. Jolteon might be my least favorite. It's a little busy. Like, get it? I made electricity. Look at my spiky spikes. Subtle. B tier. Flareon, I think, is also like a B tier. I like it more just because I like its little hair woof poof thing that just is a cute cute aspect and it's a little more subtle porygon is funny in concept in design it's not that interesting i mean i, I guess it's imaginative that it's like this weird poly po polygonal object but do i love the design eh, like a b tier ammonite is a little he's cute also probably a b tier i'm a star <laughs> oh god it's scarier than i remember those eyes are there's no mercy in those eyes and those t whatever those teeth are are really scary so it's gonna bump or no i said i was a b this is still a b uh but boy that's scary and then for some reason kabuto i've always loved kabuto and its evolution kabuto is like a i'm gonna say hey because i love its creepy red eyes i always liked kabuto more than ammonite because of that and kabutops is awesome like this is like to me it's like Scyther, but even better. Just like it's weird, like thin head and like it's the terrifying scythe arms. You wouldn't want to like, and the fact that it's not a bug Pokemon because bug Pokemon suck. I mean, I like Scyther a lot too, but I think Kabu Kabutops is like eight tier for me. Aerodactyl, um, not bad. You know, it's a pterodactyl made of rock. B tier, it's scary looking. So I like that about it. Snorlax is S tier. This guy rules. Just look at him. He's so happy. He's just dozing off. He's a big old, big old pillow. I just want to like lie on top of a Snorlax. That'd be very relaxing. S tier. All right, getting close to the end here. We got Articuno. Uh, probably eh, maybe my second favorite of the legendary birds. I like the color blue. I think the tail is fun, you know, and elegant. So I'll say B tier for Articuno. Zapdos is actually my favorite. I'm going to be a complete hypocrite. You know, I was making fun of Jolteon, but the, the this is all spikes. All spikes, A, a tier. I love Zapdos. I, I don't know why I like, I think just because like the beak, the 
the claws, just its eyes. It just looks like a big scary needle fuck. And Jolteon it does it just feels like you took like a cute thing and just tried to make it spiky. It doesn't really work for me. Moltres is the least interesting of the three. Like a like a C tier. I, I I never was big on Moltres. And then we got Dratini. Dratini's cute, but kind of eh. I think Dragonair is actually an improvement. Dratini is like a like a C. Dragonair is way better, like an A. Uh, it's just like the more fully realized Dratini. Dragonite's ev it's such a confusing evolution. Why does Dr Dragonair turn into this big orange doofus? And yet I love that this big orange doofus is terrifyingly powerful. So just that sort of combination is like an A tier for me. The fact that it is this weapon of destruction, but it looks like Barney. Two more, Mewtwo, S tier. Come on, like, it's ba he's badass looking. The purple tail is creepy. It's got like a kind of like a creepy, like ghostly, like color scheme. And it just looks, you know, he's kind of humanoid. He looks like he's gonna fuck you up. I do think the mega ones are worse, but we're getting right taking that into account. I don't like Mew as much, but it's cute. But I think it's a little overrated. Mew is like a B tier for me. It's cute, but they're a cuter Pokemon. And that was not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I kind of started to lose it a little bit near the end. And, uh, yeah, if you want to see me to do the rest at some point in installments or something, I'll probably do that. And I'll probably be a lot meaner in subsequent installments, too, because I think the first 151 are a pretty strong batch. There are definitely some ones later on, though, that suck ass. So, let me know if you want to see more. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Charizard Rules!